Hello everyone, so in today's video we are going to create a text portrait, so let's get started. So for a text portrait, I have imported an image here in Corridor and also we are going to need text. So for that, I am using, I am going to select text tool that is on the left side at your blue bar. So simply clicking on this arrow, here is the text tool and I am going to select it. After that, I am going to draw a text box around this image here. Okay. So I am selecting pick tool and moving this text box away from this image. Okay. So starting with text editing, firstly we need text here. So for that I have a dummy text here. So I am simply going to copy it using control C and paste it here in. Okay, so let's edit it for editing. And firstly, I'm going to increase the font size to 16 and I'm going to bold it. After that, I'm going to change its case, like uh, it's lower case now. So, in, in the menu bar, here is text, and down you can see there is an option of change case. So I'm simply clicking it and here is at the third option of uppercase. So click it and OK. So your text has been converted into uppercase. After that, uh, I'm going to decrease the character spacing and the line spacing. Okay, if you have some paragraphs in your text, you, you have to remove those. And you, for the alignment, you have to select full justify. Or force system. Okay, so after that, uh, I'm going to select shape tool here at the toolbar. And then I'm going to decrease the character spacing by clicking and dragging here. Then decreasing the line spacing like this. Okay, after adjustments, I'm simply going to increase the size so that it can fit in in the image. You can also compare it like this. Here, I'm going to put it here and then I'm going to decrease the size just to fit in in the image. Okay, so image editing has been done. So let's move to the image. And for image, uh, I'm going to the menu bar, here is bitmaps, and convert to bitmaps. Okay, so here in the color mode, probably the CMYK will be selected, so I'm switching to grayscale and pressing OK. Okay, after uh, grayscale your image, you can apply some effects, like I'm applying uh, Posterize effect on it uh, here at the menu bar uh, option of effects and in effects you can select transform and there is a third option named posterize. Okay, so I'm going to posterize it to almost 13 or 12. And after that I'm Adjusting the brightness and contrast of the image. Uh, so for that, I'm increasing the intensity, and you can according to your image. So I have increased the intensity, contrast, and brightness are still at default. Okay, so our image is ready, and our text is ready for background. I'm going to draw a rectangle. Here, like this. And I'm going to fill black color in it. After that, I'm going to select the image. Sorry, select the text. I'm going to color it white. And the color palettes that are available on the right side. Okay, so I simply selected the text box and clicked on white color so the color has changed to white. Okay. So I'm right clicking on the text and I'm going to change this order to the front of this rectangle. 
Wait a minute. Okay, so I have selected the rectangle and I'm going to change this order to the back of the page. So this way uh, your text has been on the front like this and you can use uh, your keyboard arrow keys to adjust it in the middle. After that I'm going to right click on the image and I'm going to change this order to the front of the page. Okay, after changing the order I'm going to place it right above the text and after that Simply, I'm going to decrease its, sorry, increase its opacity. So, using the transparency tool, we are available on the left side of the toolbar. At the property bar, if you can see, there is a second option named Uniform Transparency. So, I'm going to select this, and I'm going to change the blending mode to Multiply. Okay, so uh, after multiplying it, I'm going to simply decrease the opacity. Opacity would be at 50, so I'm going to decrease it to 17 or so, so that your image has been adjusted with the text. So, okay, almost at 19, we have adjusted the transparency. So your text portrait has been ready.